Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have some, hopefully, new information about the next Fallout game. As some of you have probably heard, a new website recently popped up called The Survivor 2299. And when you open the webpage, this is what you currently met with. So from that alone, you probably don't get much. You might recognise the Vault Tech logo on the bottom and of course you could hear the Morse code and see the countdown timer, but what exactly does it mean? Well first you have to consider whether the website is legitimate or just a hoax. When the website was first found there were a lot of sceptics, but since then more information has been released and generally people are accepting that this is a legitimate website from Bethesda. The domain was registered by Zenimax Media Inc, Bethesda's parent company. However, the domain was also registered using GoDaddy, which is something Bethesda hasn't done before. But it's not totally unheard of that game companies would use GoDaddy, and even Blizzard's recent Warlords of Draenor domain was registered with the same service. There's also several other details that point the site towards Bethesda, including the contact information used when registering the domain, the Google conversion ID matches that of Bethesda's other websites, and there's also links to Bethesda's own YouTube profile in the code of the website. Of course some of these could easily just be faked, but it's important to keep in mind that whoever owns the site would also have to pay to keep it up, and with a huge amount of traffic the site has received, it seems like it would be quite an expensive hoax if it is one. So when you take all of these things into account, while it's still not absolutely certain, we think it's worth at least checking in on the site if you're interested in the next Fallout game. And now on to what the site actually reveals. Just from the URL alone, we can assume the game is about a survivor set in the year 2299. Since the website's original release, it's been updated over time to add more information, so what you just saw isn't what the site originally looked or sounded like. The Morse code originally translated to the same date that the countdown timer is going to land on, the 11th of December 2013. So from that we can assume that as long as this is a real website, something is going to happen in 19 days, most likely some sort of confirmation or reveal trailer from Bethesda. Then some hidden text was added that you could only see by highlighting it or checking the website's code. It read, Nuclear Winter is coming, reserve your future home today, and then a phone number. If you called that number, then this is what you'd hear. That's the Tranquility Lane theme from Fallout 3, followed by more Morse code. However, the phone number no longer works, and the text was quickly changed to remove the number and put Permission Denied by Overseer in its place. Since then, the text has been removed completely. And now on to what the site looks like today. The Morse code now translates to a distress call that reads, Calling any station, calling any station, calling any station, this is from OZ, please wait. OZ stands for Oscar Zulu, a radio signal from Fallout 3 that was a father's plea for assistance to save his sick son. The story behind it is actually quite interesting and when you visit the station in the game, you only find two skeleton bodies, male and female. However, the boy's body is missing, so maybe he's somehow related to the survivor the website's title suggests. However, this was all pre-war, so it's not that likely. There's also some text on the screen that when converted back to English reads, My dear sister, I'm heading to the Institute. God knows what happened to this place now. This old bastard will help us. He must help us. And from that we potentially get the setting for the game. The Institution is a location in Fallout that's basically a modern day MIT after the war. The Commonwealth in Fallout is what's left of Boston, Massachusetts after the Great War, so that might mean Boston is the setting for the next game. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Survivor 2299. Credits to all of this information go out to the hundreds of Redditors and other internet users that found it. There's also a great website made by a Redditor that checks the Survivor site frequently for updates and then shares any changes. So we'll include links to that as well as all of our other sources down below. Let us know if you're interested in more news about Fallout 4 and as always, thanks for watching.